So what I want to talk to you about today is the importance of being flexible in this business. I call that working in the gray areas. You know, so many times I see investors lose deals strictly based upon their so-called principles, you know, certain base, you know, based upon, you know, it's, it's their way or the highway. And I promise you, in order to run an operation this size where, you know, it's not uncommon to do upwards of 10 deals on a weekly basis, we have principles here and, and we have rules and we have procedures we follow, but we're also smart enough to know when we got to work in those gray areas. So a perfect example is in a deal that we just ended up closing uh, yesterday on. It was actually on two properties. This deal literally started in March. It's two properties. Started in March, we're in May now. So number one, we don't usually do deals, especially ones that we're gonna flip in wholesale that take March, you know, April and May. It's very unusual for us to do that. Uh, number two, we don't work with back-end buyers that use financing. Both of these required financing. And number three, if the deal takes that long, 99% of the time we're gonna have a back-end buyer actually step in right at the time of closing. Guess what, didn't even happen on this one. So pretty much, we, you could say pretty much everything we do here all the time, we bent the rules all the way across the board. So let's analyze these deals really quickly. One's on Brighton. And uh, let me get my glasses on here. I think I bought that one for 82,000 and once on Burns, I bought that one for 75,000. And then we ended up selling both of them together as a package for about $176,000. So pretty good profit when you add up all the numbers. But again, we definitely, definitely went outside the boundaries on this. The deals took way too long. I took title on properties I wasn't expecting to take title on. We, we let the back-end investors take, uh, use uh, financing where we pretty much across the board uh, don't let them use financing. Why did I do this? It's very simple. I knew who the back-end investor was. You know, another principle that I want you to learn through this is you got to got to learn your players in this business. You know, where you want to hold hard and strong is when you may be dealing with somebody you're not familiar with or somebody you're not sure with or somebody who you're not sure which way the direction is going. But knowing your players and understanding your players allows you to work in those gray areas and be flexible. Bottom line is this, I knew the back end investor, I knew as solid as could be. He spent you know, over seven figures with us in terms of real estate already. I had no problem in this business working in the gray areas and kind of bending the rules. So two things. One, learn how to work in those gray areas. You know, Learn how to be flexible in this business. Every deal is different, go with it. Number two, know your players. Whether it's your back-end investors, whether it's people that work in your office, you gotta know the players. And when you, the combination of the two will always across the board allow you to do a bunch of more deals than if you're very rigid, very black and white kind of an investor. I hope that helps and I hope you can apply that to whether you know any deals you're working on now, but definitely keep it in mind for any uh, future deals. All right guys, you know what we do here. We do a ton of deals and we show other people how to do a ton of deals. So number one, if you wanna learn more about my one-on-one -on -one mentoring program, by now across the screen, you'll see my email coming across. Whether you send me an email directly or right below this video, there's a link right to my personal coaching website, coachingbypeter.com, where you can go there and learn more about what I could do to help you become successful in the real estate investing business, or just send me an email and, and I'll touch base with you and tell you what I could do to help you. The other thing you need to do, if you're a buyer of real estate in the Georgia market, specifically around Atlanta, Georgia, uh, or if you know buyers literally anywhere in the world that, that are looking to have deals, to, to do deals here in a Georgia market, you absolutely need to be in our buyers list. Again, send me an email directly to my email uh, with your contact information and we'll add you to our buyers list and literally on a daily basis, you'll get one, two. This, today we had six deals we sent out to our uh, exclusive buyers list. So remember in this business, give yourself room to be flexible and learn how to, be, how to work in those gray areas. Thanks.